If you're watching this program right now, that means you might be considering the special Restoration Journeys cruise that's happening starting February 28th next year, 2026. On this cruise, all the fun stuff that we enjoy on a cruise, plus some educational opportunities and reasons why as an industry professional, you need to be there. And with me to talk about this is someone who is going to have something to do with the education part of this cruise. Skip Jankowski, welcome to the program. Ah, oh, Jeff, what a pleasure to be here. Um, this is going to be uh, fun in the sun on the water. And you get to turn your brain on at the same time. <laughs> Can we turn it off? Uh, yes, uh, after every morning classroom session. <laughs> All right. Well, to get started, Skip, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us what you do with Normie? Yeah, sure. Uh, Skip Jankowski. I'm the director of the Nomi Pro Management National Service Provider Network. That is a, a company, a platform which has built a ecosystem to deal with the complexities of uh, diagnosing biotoxicity in buildings that drive health issues. Uh, lots of literature have been promoted on that. We, on the normy side of it, from the trade certification standpoint, have our NCRSI certification, normy certification for the sensitized individual with our level four protocol. Uh, as you are aware, and maybe some who will be watching this, it'll be new, uh, we established the first industry ever medical advisory board several months ago. And on that board, we have the, some of the foremost leading authorities on the planet um, pertaining to various aspects of clinical health care for those sensitized individuals. The cruise, uh, the fun part of it, also includes the educational component. What is biotoxin medically sound assessment of an environment? How big is the market? Where, how many people need help? Right. So we're going to be talking a lot about that stuff. Uh, if you're an industry professional and, and you've got any, any inbound calls, regardless of where you're situated, um, that my doctor thinks I have a problem in my home be, for, for mold and I need it to be assessed. That's a health issue, first and foremost. When I talk to people all across the country, they say that they're getting more calls on a consistent basis. And that has risen over the last two years. Very routine. For my business in the central coast of California, we get three to four phone calls a day, right? So awareness allows you to establish trust with those people right up front. And then what do we start looking for? Well, on the cruise, on the cruise, we're going to have a class on how to perform a medically sound biotoxin assessment. So let's talk about what the industry has been beaten over the head with for 20 years. It's only about condition three spore deposition. It's only about visible observable mold. Well, guess what? You're gonna learn and gain a lot of confidence that the toxicity in these environments doesn't even approach condition two spore deposition because we're gonna be talking about not only molds, but mycotoxins and then actinobacteria and endotoxins. How do you test for it? What is a normal level of endotoxin uh, profile in a building versus actinobacteria. It's fascinating and it correlates substantially to clinical health outcomes. And we're going to talk about that as well. How does this marry up? How do you do it? How do you gain uh, confidence to do it? How can you meet the need of that person calling you who says they have a problem? Whereas right now, you may not know how to answer that question. Let me address how big the market is because we're going to talk about this on the cruise again. There's one company out there that has publicly stated they do about 225,000 remediations annually. If you look at the, we're going to talk about this on the cruise. What is the subset of the population at risk for, for mold related illnesses? Well, 20%, 20% have a genetic susceptibility. Another 20% are confirmed via blood test to have a mold allergy. So that's about 40% of the population. If you look at that domestically, that's about a third of the population of the United States or over 100 million people. So the company that does 225,000 remediations a year, if you do 40% of those and include 
a biotoxin decontamination profile, that company is looking at an additional $1.3 billion of work on the jobs they're already doing, but we're not diagnosing those buildings correctly. That's what we're talking about. You know, this is a new, we, in our conversations uh, that Doug and I have with uh, a lot of nationals, they say, you guys are opening up a, a, a multi-trillion dollar new aspect of an industry we're already working in because all we have to do is start looking for things that you guys say are irrelevant and your medical advisory board says is critical. On the cruise, we're going to be talking about all of that. The technical part of doing the work is one thing, but from what you described, it sounds like going on this cruise and sitting in these sessions is going to be about a lot of business, making well, money. In the morning, in the morning session, look, if you're looking at a <laughs> trillion dollar, I know I'm a impressed trillion dollar industry because we haven't looked at that yet. Right. If, you know, if. So if we're talking we ground floor stuff. Yeah, this is this, okay. these are jobs that people are already in. They're performing 225,000 remediations a year. Look at what they get if that building were properly diagnosed. It's it, it, you get an additional opportunity to capture 1.3 billion dollars in revenue on a job you're already at if the building was properly assessed. So who 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 needs to be involved in that. Well, you have to have an assessor that knows how to go about properly diagnosing the building because remediators don't do the assessment. Mm -hmm. And then the remediator has to deal with that condition three aspect, and then they move to the rest of the building <laughs> and they don't have to remobilize. You take care of it up front and it translates to better clinical outcomes. We know that. We know that the building must be must be properly decontaminated. And so this biotoxicity aspect, it's new to a lot of people, Jeff, but the term itself has been used in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s in all of the public literature. All we're doing is bringing it to the forefront so people can say, hey, let's not continue to overlook this. This is a huge opportunity, A, to change the health profile of that building ultimately delivering cleaner, safer, healthier for the sensitized occupant, but also the, the, the revenue stream, the new business opportunity is right there in front of you on a building you're already in and have contracted to perform work for. You're already there. Let's do it right. It's not that the remediation industry has to get, quote unquote, yeah, reinvented. Mm. It just has to be completed. Yeah. So take a look at the cruise opportunity. The links are below in the video description because we're going to flip the script on opportunity. And the way to get that is with Skip. And you mentioned someone named Doug. Do, yeah, I think it's, I think his last name is Hoffman, Doug Hoffman. So the, the, the duo of Skip and Doug are going to handle this task. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, a big, big revenue, big opportunity to help lots of people that are suffering um, that we're going to show you exactly how to do it. And then afterwards, up on the deck with the wind blowing in all of our faces, we can talk about how fun it was learning about this stuff. By the way, let me just say this, Jeff. The people who go through this, this course that we have, the, the uh, sensitized individual, they're blown away by this, blown away by it. And then invariably, after they get certified, they come back, they start telling stories. I, I finally was able to deal with that client's health and I solved the problem. I had no idea how to do it before. And I, I, it, it's just amazing to be able to do it. This is what we bring to the table. It's a huge untapped market. And through a integrated systems approach with the backing of a medical advisory board, we can do this in a manner that is, const that is uh, consistent and aligns very well with evidence-based healthcare. So it's very fascinating. Everybody that goes through it says, this is amazing. I can't believe it. This is gonna transform my business. And we get to do it on the water, on a cruise.